लैब जंक्शन माइक्रो प्रोसेसर कॉल फिशर टाइट्रेशन ऑपरेटर्स मॉडल एल जे वन सेवन सिक्स जीरो वन विथ दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट कॉल फिशर टाइट्रेशन ऑपरेटर्स सप्लाइड एसेसरीज आर टाइट्रेशन वेसल फोर मोट वन इज रिजर्व आर बॉटल एंड वन इज सिलिका जेल बॉटल एंड थर्ड वन इज एसिड टॉन बॉटल फॉर क्लीनिंग रेजेंट ट्यू now <clears throat> extra spares dispensing tube with connectors reagent tube extra for future dropper two numbers swing for clear blockage of air in dispensing tube of peristaltic pump one is magnetic capsule inside the titration vessel and one is black dongle to verify end point of instrument in case of failure of call fisher electrode you can directly check this from instrument one is fuse call fisher electrode instruction manual dust cover printy card now main is the how to assemble this instrument i'm stopping complete instrument first you install titration vessel with two nozzles sampler mouth call fisher electrode call fisher electrode you have to connect on the spot this spot like this now in the back side this is the peristaltic pump this you have to assemble this passing tube like this sometimes air gaps in between this and block call fisher reagent in that case you use this syringe and you open this and fit syringe in this one and uh, suck this side your blockage of air is passed out now assemble it now this is the reagent tube fitted in the reagent nozzle and this is the air tube fitted in the silica gel bottle now main is the this is the reagent reagent tube connected 
at the parastolic pump you have to connect on this in this to suck call fissure reagent clearly you can see that like this you fit it at this position okay if you fit at this position how can it suck call fissure reagent at from the bottom so you get fit on this side like this now now two openers this opener and this opener am empty you close this from this tube like this now how to use this machine switch on the machine this is the magnetic capsule stirring speed minimum maximum like this this is maximum you have to put 150 ml mat dried methanol in this bottle 150 ml only and you have to feed call fissure reagent in this bottle now this is the main i am starting the instrument with like this when you have to start you have to start you press run now you pause that now you clear the passage of the air from the reagent nozzle like this like this again you can start you see your air bubble comes out from the nozzle again you can start from the run key it also used for escape one step back in this analyzing time we have fit for 10 seconds it stops and analyzing 10 seconds and gives the end point you also can change this from the hardware mode in the program settings now end point comes titration complete again you can acknowledge that if any moisture present in the titration vessel it comes out after taking some call fissure reagent now it is sure now your titration vessel have neutralized all moisture now again i am starting to fresh one
now i am taking this distilled water sample this is my sample i am feeding one drop in this suppose my drop weight is 200 mg again you have to start by pressing run key again you can acknowledge your now your call fisher reagent volume consumes 4 ml now this is the main formula percentage of the moisture or percentage of the water is equal to factor factor is always present on the call fisher reagent bottle that is normally 5 to 6 volume 4.06 multiply 100 divided by weight of the sample like this factor is suppose your 5 volume is 4.06 multiply 100 is equal to divided by 200 my weight its moisture is 10.15 of my sample if you want to uh on factor then you can also analyzes from these instructions in the instruction manual like this factor is equal to volume of water multiplied by density of water divided by volume of kf in the reagent used now this is the normal analysis now some more features are in this this is the program key suppose you want to calibrate peristaltic pump then another sort memory date time print print which batch which batch our you have you to used normally tvs printers are normally used you go in settings press enter this is buzzer time volume suppose you want to calibrate with the 10 ml burette then you can connect this reagent tube to the 10 ml burette and feed in this 10 ml this is shifting key suppose this is shift key like i am uh, wait a minute and uh, press enter when you see your burette in it consumes 10 ml then you have to press enter then you match 10 ml on the display and and 10 ml to the burette to cross your peristaltic pump settings like this i am escaping this this is program key
लाइक दिस आई हैव टू प्रेस एंटर शिफ्ट की इज फॉर टू शिफ्टिंग दी कर सर लाइक दिस एंड रीचेक अगेन यू कैन रीचेक दैट एंड रीचेक एंड इंक्रीमेंट इंक्रीमेंट इज दिस डिक्रीमेंट इज दिस दिस इज फॉर स्टोरेज ऑफ रीडिंग दिस इज एक्नोलेज एंड एंटर दिस इज रन एंड एस्केप की नाउ दिस हैज वन मोर फंक्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉश रिएजेंट ट्यूब्स ऑफ कॉल फिशर देन फिल इट विद एसीटॉन एंड फिट टू दिस अडाप्टर यू ओपन दिस एंड फिट एसीटॉन बॉटल टू दैट देन प्रेस टू वॉश इस इट ऑटोमेटिकली बैक्स टू योर कॉलफिशर रिएजेंट टू इन दॉटल एंड यूर रिएजेंट बॉटल आर एम टी फ्रॉम द कॉल फिशर रिएजेंट एंड रिफ्रेशेस अनादर फीचर इज दिस इज द प्रिंटर फैसिलिटी नॉर्मली टीवीएस प्रिंटर्स आर यूज एंड दिस इज द फ्यूज फैसिलिटी on the back side you already have seen that the parastolic pump again now i am switching again switching on the instrument this is the final analysis of carl fisher Operators model LZ one seven six zero one. Thanks.